The Ledger Nano X. What is a Ledger device or a hardware wallet and why should you get one? This video is part of a five part series beginning with what is a Ledger device and why you should own one. Subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss the other videos. I'll put a link in the description of the playlist so if you're watching this video once the other videos have already come out you can kind of refer to the entire playlist. The Ledger device is a piece of hardware that helps you manage your crypto assets securely and I mean securely. I don't want this video to be about what crypto is. If you've heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, these are a few examples of some assets I'm talking about storing on this device. Besides, I figure if you're searching about ledger devices, you already have at least a basic knowledge of crypto. Using a ledger device is more secure than storing your cryptocurrency on an exchange, as your crypto is protected by 24 unique private keys that are verified through an authentication process a time of setup to ensure your ledger device has not been compromised. I know I said I wouldn't get too into crypto, but put simply, with your ledger cryptocurrency transfers, there is a public key and a private key. The public key is what is used to send currency to you or to buy currency. The private key is used for you to retrieve it. Think of it like a mail slot through a door. The mailman can push through the mail, but only you, the person with the house key, can retrieve it. With a ledger, it is important to keep your private keys. Those 24 words that are authenticated on setup, which we will get into in the next video. If you lose those keys, you lose your funds. It's best practice to write these on the cards provided, make a couple copies, and keep them somewhere safe. One with you, and one possibly in a lockbox at a bank. How secure is this device? The device contains a secure element SE chip that can withstand sophisticated attacks. It also has its own operating system for even more protection against malicious attacks. This level of security is something you simply do not get from leaving your crypto on the exchange. I would argue it's more secure than your banking app for your regular money or fiat money. The main app you'll be using to maintain your Ledger crypto is the Ledger Live app, which can be used to manage over 1800 coins and tokens at this time. The concept is, the Ledger Live app allows you to manage your crypto assets and the Ledger device allows you to store them. Think of it like your cell phone is the hardware that stores your applications and you use those applications to manage your phone. This is all great stuff, but what happens if you lose your ledger? If you lose your ledger, it's going to be very simple to what we'll get into in the setup. Instead of setting up a new device, you would select the option to restore from passphrase. This is why it is so important to make sure that you keep those 24 phrases very secure and out of anyone else's hands. I strongly suggest that you put it somewhere at a bank in a lockbox and you don't even keep it at home. To get into the device itself to make any modifications, there is simply a four or eight number pin code that you set up at the start of setting up the device. So really the only time you would need the passphrase is if you need to recover your crypto to another device or if you lose the device or if you break it. I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos where I just kind of review and tinker with things that I buy, learn about them, and then tell you all about all the things that I learned, then go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.